Hi, I'm Tim Tyler and today I'll be discussing the possibility of a mimetic takeover. Many people visualise evolution as taking place gradually by a process of small incremental changes to existing organisms. However, the fossil record seems to tell a rather different story, with organisms spending most of their time stuck on adaptive peaks and then being suddenly displaced by invading creatures that evolved elsewhere. We can gain insight into this process by observing recent technological evolution. Consider the evolution of writing, from charcoal sticks to the word processor. Within this niche, there are signs of gradual evolution. For example, the fountain pen is in part a modification of a quill pen. However, there are also clear examples of takeovers. The design of typewriters apparently owes very little to the design of the pens that preceded them. Rather, they are the descendants of other machines which are not shown in the diagram. Another example from the history of technology is the evolution of land transportation. Here again we see early designs grounded in the products of evolution via natural selection, with the later products being primarily the product of intelligent design and engineered technology. One thing to note here is that there is an instance of a hybrid pattern, half organic, half machine, in the case of the horse and cart. The history of manned flight again illustrates the principle that later designs are not necessarily direct descendants of earlier ones. With this perspective, consider the development of thinking technology. It can be seen that the development of brains has reached a stage similar to the horse and cart stage which are used to illustrate the evolution of transportation. Modern intelligent agents consist of networks of organic and machine components, humans and computers. However, the computers cannot yet operate unaided. Another perspective on the coming takeover comes from a consideration of the medium of inheritance. We can determine from the highly adapted nature of modern genetic systems and the prebiotic implausibility of their components that early living organisms probably went through a range of different genetic materials clays, polysaccharide chains on clay surfaces, PNA or TNA, RNA and then DNA. DNA has proved to be a very useful storage medium for organisms over the past three billion years, but there is no easy way to write to it. To solve this problem, nature came up with the idea of brains and memory. The resulting writable storage medium has proved to be very useful, but information in brains is not normally inherited. However, humans have invented a means of transmitting ideas from brain to brain, resulting in human culture, a means of inheriting information stored in brains and allowing it to persist past the death of any individual human. Currently, the human species evolves using two types of inheritance, inheritance via nucleic acids and inheritance via memes, as Richard Dawkins has christened these new replicators. Memes are some of the first new replicators on the planet for billions of years. Their ease of modification has resulted in popularity which has been explosive, and memes are copying themselves all over the place in huge numbers. To adopt the memes eye view. The first objective for the memes was to make room for themselves in human brains. They did this by rewarding the humans with more space for memes with increased genetic fitness. Memes for language, music and fashion were probably primarily responsible for this. The result was 5 million years of steadily expanding human cranial capacity, which resulted in much more space for the memes. The next step was to increase human numbers, since the more humans there are, the more memes there are. Agricultural memes allowed humans to form closer symbiotic relationships with plants, animals and each other, which boosted their fitness, increased their numbers and massively increased the population of memes. The next problem was memes transmission fidelity. At this early stage, memes were copied verbally and by behavioural imitation, neither of which provided much in the way of copying fidelity. Environmental inheritance provided to be the answer here. By inventing the idea of writing, memes could persist unaltered across extended periods of time without fear of mental mutation. Then there was the copying speed problem. Transcribing documents by hand was slow and tedious. However, the invention of mechanical printing presses allowed machines to take this task from humans, resulting in a vastly wider distribution of memes. However, many memes often still need the consent of a human brain in order to get copied, an obvious bottleneck for them. The afflicted memes are currently busy, busy sorting this issue out. Computer viruses skip over the human brain completely, but they are nasty parasites. Superintelligent machines will copy memes with the full consent of society and no involvement from human beings. At that stage, the memes won't be dependent on humans anymore. At each stage, the memes accelerate their own replication by rewarding those humans who help them to reproduce. Assuming that resource limitation holds, genes and memes can be expected to compete for resources since they essentially share the same environment. 
However, even then, memes will be able to offer rewards to genes that help them, in much the same way that you can still climb a mountain path on an island, even if that island is sinking into the sea. This whole idea is known as a genetic takeover after a 1982 book by A.G. Cairn Smith with that title that argued that the planet had seen multiple such takeovers. The idea that human culture would precipitate a modern genetic takeover was first raised by Hans Moravec in 1988 in an article entitled Human Culture, Genetic Takeover Underway. In the same year, Moravec wrote, Our culture still depends utterly on biological human beings, but with each passing year our machines, a major product of the culture, assume a greater role in its maintenance and continued growth. Sooner or later our machines will become knowledgeable enough to handle their own maintenance, reproduction and self-improvement without help. When this happens, the new genetic takeover will be complete. The writable nature of memes allows Lamarckian evolution and intelligent design. Memes evolve at lightning speed compared to the glacial pace of DNA evolution. The last few thousand years contains abundant evidence of this. Human genes are bystanders, changing so slowly that we can hardly even see them move. Mimetic evolution is responsible for all our recent scientific, technological and moral progress. Our story is now actually their story. The future belongs to them. It now appears that the modern genetic takeover will be accompanied by a phenotypic takeover as well. 20 amino acids are no more an optimal universal constructor than four base pairs are an optimal universal storage medium. It seems likely that the entire edifice of cobbled together genotypes and phenotypes that currently exists will be replaced by vastly superior products of engineering design, and looking at the rate of the exponential rise of technology, this all might happen surprisingly quickly. Um, enjoy!